Hi everyone, uh, in this lecture uh, I'll show you how you can apply a supervised machine learning uh, classification uh, using Python uh, Earth Engine API in a Google Colab environment. So Google Colab is um, a cloud uh, hosted uh, Jupyter notebook. Uh, so we'll get started. So in this, um, in this session, uh, we'll see how we can convert this Landsat data um, into uh, classification using a CART a classification and regression uh, you know, model, a machine learning uh, family. Um, so um, you know, we'll uh, use a Python script for this. And so I'll show you how um, you can you can do this using a Landsat uh, a Landsat imagery. Um, so let's get started. So the first thing um, you need to do is to um, import Earth Engine. Um, you need these uh, three lines of code to import, uh, authenticate, and initialize Earth Engine. So import uh, EE, uh, import Earth Engine will import the Earth Engine library. So Earth Engine is um, um, uh, already um, loaded in, in the Google Colab um, uh, environment. So if you're running a Python uh, uh, API um, and it's already installed, you just need to, to simply import and authenticate, EE authenticate, will authenticate um, your account with Google and uh, initialize Earth Engine. So you just if you click this, uh, you'll get an authentication uh, link. You click that uh, link, and then you just um, it will take you to your Gmail account. Uh, you'll authenticate, and um, authentication code will be generated for you. You copy that and paste it here. I've already done so. Uh, so, so let's get started to the main part of the script. So the first thing we need to do is create a, a region of interest. Uh, we just create a point. In this case, um, and we cast e geometry dot point, and next we'll import the Landsat data. Uh, we use um, a Landsat image collection, so we'll create an image, and then use uh, the image collection, and then provide uh, the um, provide the image uh, ID for the Landsat data. Here, uh, we can get this from the Googlers uh, library. And then next, uh, you know, because it's a, a long time series data, we only need to uh, focus on a certain time. In this case, we'll be using um, the entire 2017 data. Uh, next is to uh, filter by space, um, uh, meaning that we need to uh, subset it by our steady region. Uh, in this case, the ROI, which we already defined here. And instead of uh, accessing all the entire Landsat uh, global archive, we'll just filter it by our steady region. And next uh, is, uh, you know, we have cloud contamination, obviously, because we're using optical data. Um, so, you know, sort cloud cover will give you, um, will we'll sort uh, the entire data collection uh, in, in, in a sorting uh, ascending order. Other. So, and applying first will give you the least cloud contamination or the, the least percentage of cloud contamination, in this case, uh, um, a cloud-free image technically, uh, or the best um, image without cloud cover. And we just uh, uh, create some visualization parameter for the Landsat data. Uh, we'll, use, we'll be using band four, three, and two of the Landsat uh, A data. Uh, we'll be defining the minimum and maximum values for visualization, okay? So now we've imported the, the Landsat data. Um, so to run a classification, the, there are two things you need to do in terms of training data. One, you may um, digitize manually um, as you go uh, and create a training data. Two, you can uh, import an already existing training data, which, which we'll be doing in this case. So I'll be uh, importing our uh, already existing uh, training data uh, which I've already prepared and define some uh, parameters here. Uh, I'll define the class, the property that I'll be using in the classification as label, and it's a class. Uh, and also the bands that I'll be using, uh, the Landsat bands that I'll be using in the classification. And select the different bands that I'll be using in the classification. Next, um, we have uh, you know training data points here. We have the Landsat data. 
it's just overlaying the points over the Landsat data and extracting those values. This is what we're doing here. And we define a few parameters here. The collection is our training data here. And then the label is the class here, uh, the, the property that we'll be using in the classification. And the spatial resolution of the, the data here is uh, 30 meter. And next step is to uh, split the data into two. Uh, as you know, um, when you run classification, you need to validate the data. So I will be um, you know, saving 20% uh, of the data for validation. So that's what we're doing here. So we'll be using only 80% for the training the data. Next, uh, we'll be using um, uh, a cart classification, the Earth Engine built-in classification me method, smile cart, and then uh, input our training data as well as the, the Landsat bands, uh, the, the different bands that we're using here, and the labels, that means the class, which saves the training um, label or the land use land cover class. Once we train the model, the uh, next step is actually to apply this model to the Landsat image, which is the input, um, the input uh, data is our Landsat image. So what it does is it will convert the, the Landsat image into a classification. This is the part that we will be using to, to do that. Um, so we'll, um, we have already, um, you know, um, created um, our, our classification, but let's just give it some, you know, visualization. Um, so we have about five classes here, water, uh, urban area, forest, crop, and barn. Uh, we provide different colors for each of these classes. Um, before we do that, let's execute actually, um, you know, each of these, you know, codes, uh, so that we'll have the classification uh, set properly. So we execute the training part, and then we execute the classification here. And finally, uh, so this is a, a Folium package, uh, which helps us to import, uh, you know, visualization. Uh, and this is the function that does that. And in addition, we'll, we'll need to add the, the classification over here, uh, which is uh, classified. And then we'll provide the, the color palette, which you already defined, uh, which the layer is called classification. Let's execute this part, which uh, will give us the land, both the Landsat data and also the classification result, okay? So this is the classification, and then this is our Landsat image. So we, ch we, ch we change it or converted this Landsat image into this classification, okay? So that's what we did here. So, so literally what we have here is uh, five land cover classes based on our training data and converted the Landsat image into a classification or land use land cover map. As you can see here, this is forested area. Uh, this is, you know, cropland and water buddy. And this is the urban area, uh, most of the neighborhoods in, in, in the Bay Area, the urban developments. And, and also some, you know, gray area, barren. Uh, and th that's that's how uh, you, you know, that's how you can see it in, in the Landsat image. If you just zoom in in the Landsat image, you can see that, you know, the urban classes are red. We have just uh, properly classified this and also some of the water buddies, um, as you can see here, blue, and also the forested area over here, it's just green. So overall, our classification looks good. And so this is how you implement a supervised classification, uh, in this case, CART uh, model, um, and um, using a Python API in the Earth Engine Cloud Computing uh, Platform.